Hello everyone and welcome to my GDB video tutorial. GDB is just debugging software that you can use to go ahead and debug your programs. It's important to note GDB does work off the executable files and not off the actual source code. I've provided a link to actually more information about GDB if you're interested, so you can just look within the description of this particular video. Uh, just a quick summary of what we're going to be doing in this vid uh, video tutorial. We're just going to go over a few basic GDB commands. But first, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and compile the program and we're passing in the dash G flag for our debugging tools. And then we're going to go ahead and run GDB by typing GDB and then the name of the executable file a.l. So we had the CPP file, which we went ahead and comp compiled, and then we ran GDB by, and passed in the actual executable. And then just gives us a little information about GDB. And then if you see at the bottom here, it has this GDB prompt. So now we're actually going ahead and running GDB. But before we enter in any commands, I'd like us to go ahead and look on the left here and look at the CPP file. So this is ex1.cpp. And we can see there's just basically some functions uh, throughout the program. And in the main, I actually just have a menu, basically, for entering through the different functions. For this tutorial, let's go ahead and look at debugging the segfault1 function. And then we'll go ahead and look at the segfault2 function. So first, let's go ahead and produce those segfaults. So I'm just typing within the GDP, on the GDB prompt R for run. That's just an alias there. So you can actually type run or just R. And let's go ahead and produce the first segfault by typing in 1. And we see that we have a loop that went through 20 times. And then at the bottom here, right before the GDB prompt again, we see this segfault. And so that's definitely not good. Uh, let's go ahead and insert a new, or do a new command, it's breakpoint. So basically we're going to go ahead and insert a breakpoint onto the actual uh, in, on, on the actual line of code. So you can see here on the left at line 21 is when we go into the for loop. Let's put a breakpoint right there. And we see it did go ahead and accept that breakpoint. Um, if you don't have uh, your windows like mine, uh, GDB offers uh, various different features. So if you actually knew the name of the function, you could just type segfault1 and that goes ahead and lists uh, a few lines above and below that particular function. Or you can just list the actual line itself and does the same thing, basically. Uh, but now that we've went ahead and set that breakpoint, let's go ahead and run again. And we're going to run up until we get to that breakpoint. So we need to produce that same function again. So enter 1. And we see it did stop at that for loop, just like we wanted. Now that we have that, I'd like to go ahead and print some variables. So we're just going to type P, which is the alias for print. And then we're going to print the array. So we have some garbage data in the array, but we do see it is initialized to 10. And we do have our 10 variables. And then obviously, we see that the next variable is 20, and it's initialized to 20. And let's see. And yes, indeed, it is. Now, we had that breakpoint. The next command we're going to go ahead and use to go ahead and go through uh, the actual, go within the for loop and look at some, uh, see what's going on here. So we went through the for loop already once. You can see right here, we went into that for loop, and now we're back within that for loop. Uh, but let's see. We have a variable, or our array, I should say which has 10 elements. It should have 10 elements at the most, right? But we're going through this for loop uh, 20 times. So well, let's go ahead and change that. So we'll use the set variable uh, command and we'll go ahead and change 20 to equal 10. And so now if we delete our breakpoints by, uh, you can actually type delete or just D and then it'll just give you a prompt whether or not you want to delete all breakpoints. Break you can just specify yes or no. And then we'll just type C for continue. And we'll see we no longer produce that same seg fault. We just got the next nine uh, iterations, basically. So we went ahead and uh, fixed that on GDB, but we did not fix that in our source code. So it is important to note that um, 
in this particular demonstration we did not change the actual source code we just uh, used the set variable command to go ahead and change it through within GDB uh, you would actually need to go into your source code and uh, go ahead and update that particular variable shouldn't be too difficult and then you, of course you would need to go ahead and compile GDB again but let's first go ahead and uh, look at the second set fault so let's produce that again and it's not giving us much other than just the actual seg fault, right? Let's introduce one more command, uh, backtrace. And basically, we just have a stack here. And this is the top. And let's see, so we have 30, but there's actually more. So just typing enter going through, and it looks like we have quite a few recursive calls here. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious to see what the problem is we don't have a base case for this particular recursive function so on the left let's go ahead and include that uh, base case and then we'll actually have to go ahead and recompile so if X is greater than or equal to 1 we'll go ahead and return 0 okay and now let's actually quit GDB so that way we can go ahead and recompile. So I just cleared the screen just now, but let's go ahead and recompile and then we'll run GDB again. And we have our prompt again here. And let's just go ahead and run right now. And let's see, we previously did two to go ahead and produce that seg fault. So now that should actually be fine. And we see it is fine. Uh, it went ahead and did that function and basically all we did was just pass in a number in uh, for X so that was 2 here we passed in the number 10 so you can actually go ahead and see that and let's go ahead and quit and so that's about it for this particular